Go ahead. Same old is about uh, a New York delivery driver who spends the night trying to find his lost e-bike in New York City. It's a black, around nine. I think it just explores a world we don't really see on screen. When you order food, you have these brief interactions with all these people, these, these strangers who are peeking into your front door and seeing into your lives, and we never really know much about them. Hour fucking late. I'm sorry. It was this idea that they are considered essential workers, yet they're not treated like they're essential workers. I heard you need help. What kind of help? What kind of help? What kind of help? I'm sending food. I'm sending food. Thank you. Hey, Mr. 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 You have money. They, I think, were applauded for a very short period of time, but they were just forgotten. And for me, Lou is that. This film is very much like a modern retelling of that 1948 Italian classic, Bicycle Thieves, just reshaping the context, the city, and the character for New York City was very much what drove the film for me. We wanted to feel cold and just oppressive. Keep adding obstacles and layers of, of tension and pushing him down uh, constantly throughout the film to the point where he's willing to cross that moral line. In Asian communities, we often try to hide our troubles for the sake of uh, not putting that pain on others. And so the fish in the story really symbolizes this added layer of responsibility and the power of love. I'm a Canadian filmmaker. I've been living in New York for the last six years. It's amazing to know there's something out here, especially run by HBO, giving this outlet and pathway for these smaller short films. Right now, what's happening with Asian cinema in America is huge. Just seeing someone who looks just like you on screen or even behind the camera is massive. I mean, it was really amazing just seeing Jackie Chan guide and lead the filmmaking process back in the day. That was a big inspiration growing up. The advice I would give for any future visionary filmmaker is just to create, to make your movie, to make your story. If it's not perfect, if it's not ready, don't be precious about it. Just go for it. Mm -hmm.